It's been about six months since my last video where I talked about my everyday sling bag carry. There are a few consistencies that I keep in this bag compared to last time, but going into the new year, a few things in my life have changed since then that required me to adjust what is in my everyday carry. I won't be going over the obvious things like my phone or my watch or my wallet because those things are just sort of in general everyday carry that always stay on my person. And these are the things that mostly come with me to work or if I know I'm gonna be out for the entire day and instances like that. So today I'm gonna go over my sling bag everyday carry for 2023, as well as the reason why each one of these individual things have a place in my bag. But first, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Here we talk about minimalism, frugal living, tech, and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you and you end up liking the video, be sure to like and please take an unscented flavorless laxative and put it in the subscribe button's morning coffee. Let's get started. And lastly, before I do get started, I will have a link for everything I talk about in this video in the description box, some of which are affiliate links that help support this channel. First off, the bag itself. Starting with what I feel like makes the most sense is of course the sling bag itself, which has not changed from last time and I'll explain why. I still think the Bellroy Venture Sling Light is the absolute best sling bag for me. The lightweight but very durable feeling material feels nice. It feels like tear and almost even water resistant, although I'm not too sure because I haven't gotten it like soaking wet before. And this video is not sponsored by Bellroy. I bought this bag myself a while ago and I truly can't find a single thing that I really dislike about it quite yet. The strap is obviously adjustable and it has this really like tight, durable magnetic clasp on it. This bag comes in black, which I obviously have here, but I believe there's sort of like a chalky off-white color as well. Charging block. My new addition to my EDC bag essentials that has helped me lighten the load a little bit is this little charging block. And it's an Anchor 65 watt charging block. It has two USB-C ports and a standard USB-A port. The higher wattage means I can fast charge my phone and my iPad simultaneously, and I don't need to carry multiple charging blocks for this. So essentially it's faster and it's less physical things. Now my laptop isn't a part of my sling bag carry, obviously, but this little tiny block is actually a higher wattage and smaller than the standard MacBook Pro charging block that it comes with. And I just absolutely hated how bulky and awkward that thing was to keep in my bag. So for now, this charging block, as well as my phone and iPad charger cables stay in this front pocket. If you work remotely, I highly recommend checking this out. Handkerchief. One of the best small changes I made to my everyday carry was adding a handkerchief. I always keep one zipped on the inside pocket of my bag and wash it every time I feel like I should. When my allergies start to act up and my nose runs like crazy, this thing really comes in clutch. And I'm probably a gross slob by telling you I use this for snot, but hey, I'm just being honest. Not to mention the paper waste that I consume ever since using these has gone down dramatically. Now these ones were sent to me, they're a little expensive, but I can say that they do feel really good and feel like they will last for a really long time. I guess if you want to do the math, you might actually end up saving this money instead of buying disposables over a really long time. Keychain. I'm just going to bundle up my keychain into one thing on this list because it does have a few different uses. I keep this black key loop hooked on the inside strap, which holds an air tag, a spare house and car key, and my two-factor authentication key in case I need to log in to one of my accounts somewhere, like an unfamiliar device. I've pretty much gone over all my AirTag uses and the purpose of this authentication key in my Tech Essentials video, so I'll link that above if you're interested. As far as my spare house key and car key, I've been locked out of my car before and it's not fun. I also just can't really think of a better place to keep a spare. Of course, unless my bag gets locked in my car, I'll cross that bridge if I come to it. Blue light glasses. Within the past six months, so after making my last EDC bag video, I've actually gotten a new job where I am staring at a screen for a good majority of the time. And on my drive home is when I would really start to feel the strain on my eyes that oftentimes would last the rest of the day. I got this cheap pair of blue light glasses on Amazon that I now keep with me in my bag and bring to work. 
Now I'm fully aware I don't look as good as Kit Harrington, Idris Elba, Pedro Pascal, Matt Diabella, Lawrence Fishburne, Daniel Craig, or Keanu Reeves, but I got these for functionality, not necessarily looks, because frankly, I think I look like an ass. If you work looking at a screen or just spend a lot of your time looking at a screen throughout your day, I highly recommend trying out a pair of blue light glasses to see if it helps with eye strain, migraines, and in my case, oftentimes I thought it was my allergies affecting my eyes, but it turns out this made a huge difference. iPad mini. And this really shouldn't be a surprise. I've said many times before that my iPad mini is probably my most used piece of technology. I write my videos here, plan to-do lists, stand it up on a smart folio and let videos or music play while I work, or just draw on Procreate. And on top of all of these different uses, it just fits so perfectly in my sling bag. And for anyone that's gonna ask, I can pretty much guarantee any other iPad wouldn't fit in this bag, but it truly feels like the size of the iPad mini was made for this bag. Obviously, I keep the smart folio on this and I have the Apple Pencil too on here as well. By the way, I do wanna make another iPad mini video soon. So if there's anything regarding that topic you'd like to see, please comment down below. AirPods. My AirPods typically stay in my front pocket, but if I don't have them with me, they're in the front pocket of my sling bag. And frankly, I've talked about these so much that I'm sick of it and I'm not gonna go too much into detail. Everyone already knows how important it is to me to have a good set of headphones, so I'll just leave it at that. Food. I've definitely made it a habit to keep something small, but something that'll hold me over in my bag for when I inevitably get hungry at some point throughout the day. Usually a protein bar or something that'll fill me up and hold me over until I make it home. Unfortunately, I'm a person who lacks zero self-control when they're hungry. And if I don't have anything to eat, I'll spend any amount of money to eat at the closest possible food source. And when I buy groceries, I try to remember to buy like a box of protein bars and keep one of those in my bag at all times with the plan of having enough to hold me over till the next time I go grocery shopping. And that pretty much wraps up everything I have currently in my EDC sling bag for 2023. Of course, things are gonna change with my daily routine and just life situation at the time. So things will be going in and out of this bag to adjust to that. Anyways, I hope you got some value from this video and maybe some ideas of what you want to add or take away from your bag, if you carry one. Anyways, I appreciate the time you spent here and I appreciate you watching. If you did like this video and you like this type of content, be sure to like and consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.